In the previous video, we created a basic Chalice app and deployed it to the cloud. But all we had was hard-coded data. You see that I created this dictionary that mapped a stock timber ticker symbol to tweets about that symbol. What we actually want to do is tap into the data from Twitter to get the real data and what people are currently saying about these symbols. So we're going to do that using the Twitter API. So if you go to developer.twitter.com, you see they have a documented API here where you can create a developer account and you can create a new application. So to get started, you create an application and you create a simple application with a name and an application description. So what our application is going to do is uh, retrieve tweets that mention particular uh, stock symbols and display those tweets in our own custom UI. So I've already created the application in advance so that I don't have to go through any kind of approval process. So this is created here. And you see we have some keys and tokens that we can use in our application. Uh, this is just read-only access, so this doesn't give you any special uh, permissions. So I'm okay showing these tokens right now. Um, and you can use the Twitter API directly in order to access uh, tweets. But uh, Python also has a uh, package. If you type in Python and Twitter, it'll bring up uh, this Python package that wraps up all of the uh, Twitter endpoints. Um, so you can see right here, there's a package to install. So you want to pip install Python Twitter, or you can add it to your uh, requirements text that was generated by Chalice. And then if you do uh, pip install dash r requirements text, it will install that package for you. So I'm going to run the Chalice server again and get started. And let's uh, copy their getting started here. Um, what you want to do is create a new uh, Twitter API client here. So I'll copy this and this. So we're going to import Twitter at the top so that we have access to the package. And then let's initialize the API with all of our uh, API key information. Um, you can create a config file uh, that has all of this information, but I'm just going to copy and paste it uh, directly from my Twitter developer account. So I'll go to apps and for the app I created, you'll see these keys and tokens. So I'll get these keys in order and just replace them here. So this will initialize uh, this API client. And then what we'll do is get some ticker symbols from the URL, from the query parameters. And then we'll use Twitter search API to uh, query all of those and build our dictionary and gradually replace uh, this stream uh, with dynamic information. So here you see we have an API client that's initialized. And let's see if we can test this as well. Um, Let's find the search search functionality, or we'll look for the documentation uh, at read the docs. And under searching, you see they have this uh, api.get search. So we'll put that in. And you'll see you send in a query. Um, so right now, this Q equals Twitter. It looks like they're searching for Twitter, but we're, we want to search for all of our symbols. So we'll replace this uh, with a string formatter. Um, uh, but first, yeah, let's actually get, we need to get some input uh, to this function now. So we had slash watch list, which was returning uh, this hard-coded dictionary. What we want to do is do like this. Uh, so type tickers equals and give it a list, a comma delimited list of ticker symbols is how we'll approach it for now. And we want to make it do something with those particular uh, ticker symbols. So let me change this up. Let's instead of square, let's do CRSP and then let's do Apple. Okay. And then we want uh, tweets that are specific to those companies. So if you look back at the uh, chalice documentation, you'll see there's a uh, request metadata. And let's see how we parse our parameters. So we have access to our request with app.currentRequest. So we can do app 
dot current request. And what else do we have? If we look at our current request, you have access to the query parameters, so we'll use that. But you could also uh, get JSON post data or uh, you know the current request method, whether it's get or post and so forth. So we have the query parameters that we'll use. Um, and let's just print out what that actually looks like so that we know what how this works. So if I refresh again, um, you'll see in our console, uh, you see we have this dictionary. And since I pass tickers, you'll, you'll then see a list of the tickers uh, that were passed in the URL. And then if I add another one, like let's say Microsoft, you'll see MSFT also appears in there. So this works like we want it to. Uh, so let's access uh, the tickers key. And then we'll also, since it's comma delimited, we can split that so that we get a list. So let's put on the comma and we can set tickers equal to that. And let's see, uh, now that we have that. Okay, so yeah, for the search results, um, instead of hard coding that, we can do for ticker and tickers, um, do results equals get search. Um, and what do we want to do? We we can replace this with a string formatter and do format ticker and get those results. And let's print that out to see what that looks like. And let's see if our client actually worked. So I'm going to refresh this. Um, no server errors. So we can see, look, we have a lot of data coming in. So this, these look like tweets about uh, those symbols. So you see MSFT mentioned, Apple mentioned. So it looks like we're on the right track. These are, uh, looks like they're status objects. So we can't uh, serialize those uh, directly. So we'll build our own custom uh, dictionaries that represent uh, these tweets. Um, so let's dig into this a little bit. Uh, so for results in results, let's see if we can get something a little better here. So when I print that out, I should be able to see Okay, so you see if I print just one result, uh, it looks a little bit more like JSON here. So let me copy one of these and then we can use something like uh, Sublime Text here to look at the structure. Um, you see each tweet has an ID created at, so we want that. So we'll use created at uh, we'll also want to use the, what's, what else is interesting here? The text itself. So we want the text attributes. Um, let's say the user's name and screen name. So user.name and user.screen name. And uh, we'll leave that, this extra stuff out for now. Yeah, that seems good. So let's create some tweets. So for each ticker, uh, for each result, in the result set, we can do tweet equals uh, created at, and we'll just shorten that to created at. So result dot created at, and uh, the text. We'll do result dot text. And username, we can do result.user.name, and then screen name, result.user.screen name. So that's one tweet, and then we can append that to a, a stream for that particular ticker. So let's do uh, for each ticker, we'll create a new. Uh, stream key, so we'll do stream ticker equals an empty list, then we'll search, and then for each result in our set here, we're gonna get uh, make a little tweet object here, or dictionary, and then we'll say stream ticker, and then just append it to the list. 
and then our stream should get built dynamically there. So let's see if that works. Okay, we got an error, we're not perfect yet. So name stream is not defined. Did we not define it stream to, oh, I deleted it earlier. So let's start stream off as an empty dictionary and try that again. Not yet. Um, oh, let me see if we need to restart the app. Created is not defined. Okay, so again, um, I keep switching between JavaScript and Python. We need to actually make keys like so. And let's be consistent. Okay, here's our keys. And I'll try that one more time. Looks like it's taking a little longer. So there you go, we have a stream uh, coming back. And let me paste this in, see how it works. And let's see if this looks like what we expect. Okay, so we have a stream response. And for each stream, we have a key of a ticker symbol. So we have Apple, and then we have a bunch of tweets about Apple here. They all mention Apple. And then let me see if I look for Baba. See, there's a key for Baba and then tweets that mention that. We know who's saying it. And later we can add the things like their follower account so we can get the most reliable uh, traders. Uh, so opinions that we value kind of filter out. We need to filter out a little bit of noise here. But yeah, for now you can see that uh, we've created this little wrapper and we have some dynamic data coming in based on the URL query parameters. We've used a, a Twitter package and we're querying for data and we're returning that back to the browser. Um, we can tweak this a little bit. Um, there's other result types. So I think I like the popular one because there's, there's certain people with a little more uh, influence in social media. So you might want their tweets over just anything. And so you see that changes our result set a little bit. Uh, we can wrap this up a little bit more and have some other parameters that can determine this and pass that along. Uh, but we'll stop it here. You can, this seems like a good uh, point to stop. So we can go ahead and deploy this, make sure it gets up to Amazon, and then we can build a front end that uses this and displays this uh, in a nice format.